Uh, having good data is just critical uh, for lots of reasons. One is it allows us to try to project what's going to happen in the future. If we're talking about using funding for carbon offsets or carbon payments for conserving forests, of course we need to know what a country's baseline rate of forest destruction or degradation was and then how much that's declined in the future so we can actually measure that. Those kinds of things depend critically on having good measurements and you know there are, there are a lot of technical details and, and getting it right is really important. We know with tropical forests right now, for example, that you know they grow year-round and if we can stop the destructive or degrading processes, there's a lot of capacity for these forests to absorb a lot of carbon and basically to help us move towards a, a more stable global warming scenario. But the bottom line is we're not going to get anybody to put carbon money or other kinds of, of, of payments into forest conservation if we don't have data which shows here are going to be the impacts and here are going to be the benefits of doing it. Otherwise, you're going to put it into more safer options um, that they can more readily account for. Having these new satellite technologies is fantastic. They're high resolution. They're very sophisticated, some of these things. They're you know, multi-spectral. They allow you to do and measure and record all kinds of things. Even though we're still developing these amazing technologies, we still oftentimes use the human eye. And what a lot of people are doing right now is actually coupling these nice technologies with people in crowdsourcing because the human eye can discriminate and pick things out that even the most sophisticated computer algorithm still sometimes struggles with. You know, we're moving in the right direction and it's really exciting to see things like, for instance, the European Space Agency's initiatives. And the key thing is they're making all of it free and absolutely publicly available to anybody. I mean, that is the real power of this stuff is, is to put that kind of investment out there and up there and then just to give it out to everybody. That's really what we need. Getting better data on its own is not going to do anything. I mean, that's really the second part of our responsibility as scientists. We need to put things in a kind of language that essentially anybody can understand. If we laden everything we say with a lot of technical jargon, if we cloud everything in huge layers of uncertainty, if we equivocate about every single thing we say, we're not really doing our job. We need to be able to make clear statements. We need to make also clear statements about what our uncertainty is. And we really need to be engage. We need to engage with decision makers. We need to engage with the general public. People need to understand the stakes. But it requires an investment of time and effort. And, and I think more scientists are appreciating how critical that is. Our outreach is absolutely, it's, it's, if not as important, it may be even more important sometimes than the science itself.